I've been barrel racing since I was 10 years old. I love the competition. I love the adrenaline. Some people think that I shouldn't go back to riding, that it's too dangerous. But that's who I am. I had an accident three months ago. I was at a friend's ranch and was unloading a horse and I just went to step up into the horse trailer to get to his head to just kind of help him back out and I startled him and he just kicked me and sent me flying about 12 feet backwards. At first I couldn't believe it. <laughs> and I couldn't stand up straight. I was just kind of bent over and... I called Shane, my husband, and because he was working five miles up the road, and I just said, you gotta come help me. I just got kicked and I need your help. You try and stay healthy, you work out, you do everything you can do, but it's, it's a dangerous game and stuff happens. They told me that night that I had a grade four liver laceration, which means that it was pretty much cut completely in half, and it was very serious. A lot of people die from the injury that I had, but I was always taught to get back on when you get bucked off. Today, I'm gonna to ride for the first time after my accident, and I hope it's good. She's a tough woman, hard-headed. What we talked about is try, you know, the grit or whatever you wanna call it. Um, that's her. Try to us as a family is all it takes is all you got. And my mom is the definition of try. She always pushes it too hard. She pushes it to the limits. She doesn't give up ever. There's been several people kind of voicing their concerns, you know, family members and stuff. Are you sure that everything will be all right? And I don't, there's no real guarantees out there. Barrel racing is not for the timid. There's bumps, there's bruises, but yet you've got to dig down deep and you've got to be tough. The doctors have said it's, you know, it, it'll hold up, so that's what we're gonna go with. We're just gonna kind of, at the most, load through, right? Did you read my release papers from the doctor? Should I have? No. My husband and I have worked for everything that we have. We put 80 to 90,000 miles on our truck every year hauling to these rodeos. Maybe I'm not being realistic, but I feel like I'm gonna pick up right where I left off. Her friends and family are a little bit nervous for her. I just know that when she gets on that horse, she's probably gonna wanna make a run, and I'm like, um, somebody, somebody stop her. <laughs> People think we're really crazy, especially when we are hurt and we compete when we're really hurt. But they don't get the passion that we have for it. I mean, this wasn't that long ago, and it was a few different surgeries, and, you know, I hope that today that she takes it slow. That's all. Can I have my saddle, please? It's fine. Sydney, don't give it to me. I can do it. Did you get it up there? Barely. Whew. Weak as a kid. I gotta get on the weights. It's pretty 
exciting day. I can't wait to ride. Even just being able to ride him is gonna be, uh, I'm pretty excited. So I'm, I'm just thankful to be here. My career is done. I want people to say that I was humble and that I helped people um, and I cared about other people, you know. And I and I did my very best. Final cowboy to go. You're the Colorado cowboy.